Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. A little bit of a late start. Why? I was just kind of pokey this morning, but the weather is here for you nonetheless, and I'm going to give you a whole bunch of it. Um, I have full functionality of my phone, so I can talk to you if you want and uh, say hello. So uh, let's let's get into it. <laughs> Maybe I do have full functionality. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. First hello from somebody, Fran Fershack. Good morning to you. Here we go. And uh, let's see. Hey, top of the morning to you also, Valerie Ann Daggett. All right, well, yeah, that's snow in the up ironwood is 25 degrees right now with three quarter mile visibility in snow hey chris yulen hola como estas so that snow will be heading southeast today across northwest lower uh charlevoix and frankfurt reporting snow showers right now and then it will be moving into the thumb as well and that's where modeling comes in so you know over the years i'm going to just go off on a little bit of a tangent here over the years the modeling has been superbly uh increased in accuracy when i first got into meteorology in the late 80s um we had three models. Uh, they only gave us a projection every 12 hours. Two of them went out to 48 hours. So 12 hours, 24, 36, 48. In, extrapolate what happens in between 12 and 24, or 24 and 36. The resolution was, I believe it was 80 kilometers. So each square was 80 kilometers, which is like maybe... I don't know, 40 mile square. So it would say snow in that 40 mile square. We know that weather is way more resolute than that, right? Um, and one model went out to, I think, 72 hours. Now, you know, 10 models, um, lowest resolution, or highest resolution is three kilometers. So a mile and a half square. So just think about how many mile and a half squares are in that 40 mile square now uh, and some of those update every hour so uh what did i do with our warm weather okay so here we go i'll shut up now and get you into the weather i know that's what you came for not for me ranting so here's the model this is the high resolution rapid refresh why do we like it it updates every hour um and it is three kilometer resolution and it's very good in the short term very good in the next six to 12 hours so noontime we'll have showers popping up in the instability of the cold air and as we go into the afternoon the showers will grow there can be some downpours there can be some sleet in there hey good morning shirley felice from casa verde arizona moved from santan valley uh, let's see, and then 5 o'clock today, the snow starts up in the UP, 6 and 7, or in the UP, the thumb, rather. Look at the thumb this evening. Hey, let's make a snow person. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't get politically correct on you. Let's make a snowman and a snowwoman. Um, this is 11 o'clock, and this is midnight. Okay, so... We're going to have some snow showers around and maybe some accumulation. How much? Maybe an inch or two in the eastern part of the thumb. Maybe Harbor Beach to uh, Port Sanilac um, and maybe Traverse City and Manistee and Frankfurt and uh, higher elevations, Wexford County, maybe a half inch or so. UP, maybe an inch or two in places. So what's going to happen in the long term? Now, here's been another great increase in modeling. So I'll just give you another little insight into this. Um, you know, then in about 
So we had a model called the aviation model, which turned into the, the GFS, which is the global forecast system, which is now still the GFS. Aviation model went out to 72 hours. We liked it because we could see a possible snowstorm 60 hours out. It wasn't accurate, but possible. About then they improved it in the late 80s, early 90s, and they changed it from the aviation to the GFS, global forecast system. That was the main model for the National Weather Service that they were going to always enhance and move it out into the future. And then they jumped it to pro projecting 10 days out. We were like, wow, 10 days out. And it was a joke at about five, six, seven days. Well, the first huge victory that I still remember to this day was the Superstorm in March of 1993. And the GFS virtually nailed it for a historic storm, snowstorm storm system five or six, seven days out. We saw this, I think, in about seven days out. We saw it project this monster storm roll from the southeast to the east coast. The superstorm of March 1993 was um, the one that brought two feet of snow from Alabama to Georgia up Tennessee, then four feet of snow. It drove that cold front through the west coast of Florida, um, 100 plus mile an hour winds, Tampa area south, uh, killed a lot of sea life there, a lot of boats wrecked, people died. Um, so GFS caught on to that about seven days out. We thought, nah, no. Six days out, it was there. We were like, hmm, nah, five days. It was still there four days. And then it got our attention. We're like, hey, this might be the first time that a, an extended model of the GFS is going to forecast something that we could give you big warning, you know, four days out. And then it happened. And it's been proved since then. And now we're talking, if there's going to be a big storm in, in any area of the country, we know about it six, seven, eight days out, something like that. All right. So here's a European and it's, it's better than the GFS at some things and not as good at other things. But what we get into is tomorrow should be dry. It will be cool. We're working off the cold. Uh, Thursday will be dry. It'll be a little bit better than Wednesday. Jeff, uh, Gardner, is Leelanau Peninsula a good area for amateur astronomy in the lower? No. You are surrounded by water, my friend. You have clouds. So it is not a good location. If it's good in the, I, I take that back. It's good in the sense that you have a lot of viewpoints. Um, if you get clear skies, you don't have light pollution. So that is a good perspective. But the number one base foundation of astronomy and, and looking at things in the sky, you got to have clear skies. So Leelanau County, is it good? It's good in June, July, August, early September. It's one of the better spots um, just because overall Michigan's clouds go down. Leelanau County still has a little more clouds than other places because it's surrounded by water. But that kind of cloudiness goes down in the summer and then voila you can be on ridges looking south looking down toward lake michigan and you can be in non-light polluted areas so it depends on if you want to do it year round or when it's comfortable all right so european uh friday is dry friday is nice friday's a work skipper friday what the heck why not right <laughs> sorry jim carr i apologize I know. How'd you get to the History Channel? I apologize. So here's uh, Saturday looks dry. Saturday looks great. This is Sunday. So our next chance of showers would be Sunday. And this is not a very wet forecast. So that's good news, too. We can use a little dry out at this time of the year for us gardeners. And hey, good morning, Tim Lee and Ascoda. Josephine Hendricks says snowing in Traverse City right now. I believe it. And then this is next Tuesday. Um, and then finally out to do nine, 10 days. This is Thursday, cold front, our next 
decent rain and behind it, ooh, cold air. I had to show this to my wife this morning and she gave me the rolled eyes look. Uh, here's a little bit better of a way to look at it as far as precip. We go through Friday and Saturday. We're dry. This is Sunday, and it's dwindling, but uh, maybe a shot of a, a couple of hours of showers somewhere on Sunday, and then next Tuesday, our next significant cold front, you know, another six-hour shot. Nothing in here is a really big, uh, big rain or snow today. Only in the low 40s. Tomorrow, only struggling to hit 40 degrees in a lot of places. And Thursday, a touch better. Maybe 10 degrees warmer. And then Friday, eh, not bad. Uh, low to mid 50s. Uh, Saturday, comfortable. Around 60. Just a couple of degrees shy of, of normal. Sunday, about the same. Low 60s. Monday, 70s, Tuesday, 70s, Wednesday, 70s, Thursday, the cool down. And that is one thing that I want to emphasize is that we're talking about cooler than average weather. But that doesn't mean that an individual day can't be very nice in the 70s. It just means that if you take a seven-day period, you're probably going to get four days cooler than average an average day, and two days warmer than average. So we'll still have some very nice weather, but it's not the jump to summer yet. So we have to wait on that. Cheryl Smith, all right, let's take some questions now since I'm rambling and who knows how many people are with me. It looks a little uh, messed up this morning on the, the numbers. Are we finally going to get a warm-up? Tired of this cold and the wind constant here in GR, says Cheryl Smith. Again, it's going to be up and down. You're going to have some nice days in the seven-day forecast. You're going to have some chilly days, and you're going to have some chilly mornings. Amy Zettel, what is normal? That's a very good question. Um, hey, I can go to that right now, you know, and that's the beautiful thing about this format. I can continue. If you want to talk about weather until this afternoon, guess what? I could probably do it, but uh, so I don't have commercial breaks like like my friends on television do. Um, give me a second here, Amy Zettel, and I'll answer everybody's question. I just got to find it here. Give me a second. I'm going to show you the average uh, high temperatures now. And we can even look at how it progresses and how the cold will not be able to um, be, be held off forever. So, here we go. Uh, this is the average high temperature on April 26th, the long-term average, you know, what the last 30 years. Uh, Jackie, is La Nina persisting through the summer? Yes, it is. I'll be talking about that. Uh, Jason Washington, are we looking at rain around Baldwin this weekend? Not much. Maybe a shower or two on Sunday, but that's about it. Lisa Lewandowski from Lansing. Uh, hello. Why have we had so much wind and high winds? Chris, couldn't you? Mm, that's a tough one. Uh, that is a good question. I'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, so our average high now, what is it? It's about 60 degrees or so in most places. Uh, why have we had so much wind? I've had that question a lot. I don't have the numbers on it. That's one that I want to have. I want to research. I want to talk to my bosses at MLive and say, hey, cut me some slack. I need a little bit of time to research this because that'll take me half a day or a day to uh, find out. Those stats aren't readily available. All right, Patricia. Wow. Batistava? Batistava. That's one of the hardest names I've ever seen. How do you pronounce that? Uh, starting microgreens in the sun porch this Thursday. Yes, and I am planting some things in the garden on Saturday. Um, it's time. It's time for actually the healthy stuff. You know, the greens. They can handle the cold weather. And if you talk to any of these health experts, 
that's what we're supposed to be eating a little bit more of uh, rather than the tomatoes and the peppers and the nightshades and uh, whatnot. All right, so there you have it. I rambled along enough. You got your money's worth, I guess, today. Uh, yes, got snow. I agree. I agree. And you know what? 90% of us agree. Hey, Michigan, we'll take all of the seasons if we could just get a little more sunshine. In fact, I told my wife that the other day. I said, you know what? Colorado, Denver, that would be a pretty nice climate for me. Snowstorm. Next day, sunshine. I think you'd have, in Colorado, I think you'd have a tough time having three days in a row of clouds more than a couple of times a year. And that would be uh, pretty nice as I crave more sunshine as I get a little bit older. Uh, <laughs> Brittany Stevens, yeah. Well, I like your last name, Stevens. That's that's easy. All right, so thank you for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Lush Lawn. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. I'll keep you updated. We're going to be working off the cold, but in the thumb this afternoon, this evening, don't be surprised to see the snow. <laughs>